Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode I'll be walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In today's episode, we are going to be discussing building a business versus just creating a job for yourself. Now, I want to discuss something that happens to way too many small business owners. They start their business and then wake up a year later and discover that they have just created a job for themselves versus actually building a business. A job that looks like a business sounds like a business, but the reality is you are spending your day as an employee and odds are you're making less money as well. I've mentioned that you wear two hats in your business. You wear an employee hat and you wear a business owner hat. And there are way too many small business owners that are only making money as the employee in their business, but because they never focused on building the business, they never get paid as a business owner. Creating sales and finding new customers are great. We expect that out of our salespeople. You just happen to wear the salesperson hat as well, but it's the business owner who finds a way to make those sales become profitable. When you're building a business, it is actually something that should be able to live with or without you. If you sell it, the person who buys it, are they gonna have to step in and do all the work that you do? If your business was to be bought by somebody who just wants the business, if they have to hire someone to do the employee stuff that you do, they're gonna devalue your business because they're gonna have to hire somebody to do what it is that you do. The only value the business has is in the business profits. So if your business is not making profits and it's not covering all of the employee time, you're not really considered a business. It's more of a job. Remember, the actual business's value is in the profits, not in the job employee part. If the business has no profit after paying someone to do what it is that you do at a fair wage, I hate to tell you, you just own a job. I hope this all makes sense. Look at it this way. Let's say you take a $30,000 wage as an employee and an additional $10,000 as a business owner. However, to replace you in the business as a doer, you would need to hire someone at a fair wage of $20. And since you spend about 50 hours a week on the doing, this new employee would earn about $1,000 a week. And if the business is open at least 50 weeks out of the year, that's a $50,000 employee payroll. But remember, you are only taking 30 as an employee and 10 as the business owner. So that means if you're only making $40,000 personally, then I hate to tell you, you have a job versus a business because your boss is underpaying you and in order to sell your business, your value is actually a negative $10,000. This is why it's critical that you capture your employee time correctly. If you don't, you are creating a problem when you are not priced correctly. This hurts so many small business owners when the time comes to hire. If you aren't paying yourself correctly as an employee, you will never create the income you need to pay someone else to replace you with what it is that you do. Because remember, the employee you is going to stop getting paid because you're going to pay someone else and you now have to live off of the business profits. So if you've never built a strong, healthy business profits, all you're doing is giving up your employee money to somebody else. Now, we will talk about this more in a future episode, but as long as you underpay yourself for the worker wages you do, you will remain with a job mentality versus a business owner mentality. A business owner has one mission, and that is to make sure that the prices cover all of their costs, all of their expenses, all of their wages, and they still turn a profit. Please know that I do not expect you to come out the gate doing this right. You might underpay yourself in those early days of getting your business off the ground, but you need to correct it as quickly as possible so it doesn't become the standard way that you run your business. It's very difficult to turn that around later on. Not saying you can't do it, you absolutely can, but why not do it correctly from the very beginning? Listen, you will be working so many hours in your business, busting your But if you are going to do this for the same amount of money and a lot more headaches, are you sure you don't prefer that eight to five job? Do you really want to go from paycheck to paycheck to now going from job to job, making the exact same amount of money? Of course you don't. You want to make money for your employee time, but you also want to create a thriving, profitable business that pays you as a business owner. So always keep this goal in mind. As your business grows and you hire more people, you will do less hands-on and spend more time running the business. That's the way it's supposed to work. Wouldn't it be nice if you had a business that was making money, even during the times that you take off to go spend with your family, that you could make money while you're on vacation? How cool would it be to take a two-week trip and know your business is humming along just great? Most of us would love it. That is the benefit of building a business and not just a job. 
don't get me wrong. I love hustling and creating, but you know what? Some days I am dog tired and would love if my business would just keep going without my brain power that I could physically unplug and the leads would keep moving along. I'm pretty sure that all of us have the ultimate dream of building a business that allows us to do this. Your goals need to be the same. As you build this new business, make sure that you are building more than just a job. You're gonna be a business owner, so you need to make sure that you always keep in mind that you run a business. You need to identify as the business owner. You happen to own a carpet cleaning business. You happen to own a dog grooming business. When people ask you what you do, don't say you're a dog groomer. I am a business owner who owns a dog grooming business. There's a difference in how you speak that power. You need to have a business owner mentality from day one. Remember, you own a handyman business. You are not a handyman. Language is huge. You need to identify as the business owner, not as the doer in the business. The next time someone asks you what it is that you do, how are you going to answer that question? In our next episode, we're going to be diving into the number one thing you need to start doing before you even start your business. And that is going to be research. It's not the most sexy thing, but it's also the most important and it's going to save you the most money out the gate. So we're going to dive into what it is that you should be researching. And before you go, don't forget to get your free startup guide in the show notes. Let's head on over to the next episode. Bye for now.